Hello, VR. Wherever you are, those of you watching us in Faraway, Abuja, Port Harcourt, Ilori, those of you outside the shores of Nigeria, brace up. This is your program. It is Business and Economy Network. On behalf of the production crowd, we say thanks and honor presenting this program to you today. Do you know that? Do you know that they said charity begins at home? Now, the strategic importance or relevance of indigenous engineers in Nigeria cannot be overemphasized. Looking at Nigerian government trust for infrastructural development come 2020 to be among the top 20 economies in the world. Now, looking at infrastructural development in Nigeria, how has the indigenous engineers fared in Nigeria? So that's the trust for our program today. And we are looking at Nigerian engineers. Are they capable of handling multinational standard project? That's what we are discussing. And we have the principal partner of Samobat and Associates, and also not left out is the managing partner of Double Q International. For company focus today, we are looking at Frau's Associates. And uh, for straight stock, we have engineer Imam Aban, the chief executive officer of Multisaf Limited. It's going to be an interesting watch. Please hold your buyer on your paper and write one or two things because you're going to learn from this. I'll be back after this time. Don't touch your dial. Cynix love to promote the idea that the Nigerian engineers cannot handle projects that are of international standards. Truly, looking around various infrastructures like the railway which has fallen below international standards. Many other infrastructures around Nigeria surely do need a facelift. In most cases, the problem is actually not that of the Nigerian engineer, but of the government. It has been